Imagine a machine so fast it could fly between London and New York in just 30 seconds. But this machine isn't racing on Earth. It's speeding towards the most powerful force in our solar system, our sun. And this week, it achieves something that no human-made object has ever done before. The NASA Parker Solar Probe has become the first spacecraft to get closer to the sun than we ever thought possible, and it's shattering records along the way. Welcome to the world of space exploration, where NASA's Parker Solar Probe is about to make history yet again. Launched in 2018, this spacecraft has been defying expectations. But what happened on December 24th is nothing short of extraordinary. The probe is now on its closest ever approach to the sun, venturing within just 6.1 million kilometers. That's closer than any probe has ever gone. And it's not just a landmark moment for space travel. It could hold the key to unlocking one of the greatest mysteries of our universe. By now you might be wondering, why are we sending a spacecraft so close to the sun? What could possibly be gained from braving temperatures that exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius in intense radiation that would fry any ordinary machine? Well, the answer lies in the sun's outer atmosphere, its corona. Despite the common belief that the closer you get to a star's core, the hotter it gets, the corona completely breaks this rule. Scientists are baffled by why the sun's outer atmosphere is millions of degrees hotter than its surface. On its 22nd flyby, Parker reached a staggering speed of 692,000 kilometers per hour, once again becoming the fastest human-made object in history. The spacecraft is traveling so fast it could cross the distance between London and New York in just 30 seconds. But speed isn't the only thing Parker has going for it. With the help of gravity assist from Venus, Parker is able to make its way closer and closer to the sun, all while withstanding conditions that would destroy anything else. Its shield is made of a 11.5 centimeter thick carbon fiber reinforced composite that protects it from intense heat, but it only has a limited time before it must quickly retreat. But the real reason we're sending Parker so close to the sun is to finally answer the question that has perplexed scientists for decades. Why is the corona so hot? Understanding this anomaly could help us better understand the solar wind in space weather, phenomena that affect everything from auroras to satellite communications here on Earth. The sun doesn't just affect us through heat and light, it also sends out massive bursts of energy known as coronal mass ejections, or CMES. These solar storms can cause geomagnetic storms on Earth, impacting power grids, electronics, and communication systems. By studying these eruptions up close, Parker could help us predict and prevent future disruptions. And now, as Parker flies ever closer to the sun's scorching surface, NASA has temporarily lost communication with the spacecraft. For days, scientists will be in the dark, waiting on pins and needles to see if it survives. The first signal confirming its success will be received on December 27th. Will it survive the ultimate test, or will we be left in suspense? waiting for answers. This mission isn't just about making history, it's about solving some of the sun's greatest mysteries. The Parker Solar Probe is pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, proving that the greatest discoveries lie just beyond our reach. And when it finally sends back that signal on December 27th, we might just learn things that will change our understanding of the sun and the entire solar system forever. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated on this groundbreaking mission. And as always, leave a comment below. What do you think will happen when the Parker Solar Probe sends its signal back to Earth? Thanks for watching, and remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered.